So a number of you probably already know my robot Betty Nine. I've been working a lot on her recently. Um, bought her some new gloves. The uh, Mrs. Maisel style long, long gloves. Um, I have black and white. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, who buys <laughs> who buys gloves for their robot, right? Um, anyway, I've been working on her because she's an entertainment robot, and I wanted to. Uh, well, gesture and nod with the with the music, and so. Uh, well, let me turn her on for you. And that's her eyes on, and the motors. Yeah, someday we're gonna stop that. So if you noticed, um, the left hand is kind of moving randomly. And that's okay. And the head moves randomly. And the left hand will move occasionally here and there. I'm sorry, that's the right hand. Yes, that's the right hand moving. Gotta remember my left and my right here. But the left hand isn't moving at all. Well, that's because that's triggered by music now. And it's not as smooth as the right because I'm still adjusting it. The right moves up and down real nice and smoothly. But let me turn on the music and I'll show you how it works. I haven't assembled it yet, so this is all sort of out here. In fact, it's now running one, two, three Arduinos. And so the last Arduino here, this is adding the motion for the arm. Um, so here we go. Oh goodness, everything's shut off. I'm running it off of a, just a little... MP3 player. Let's play the song. So, as she's singing, arm hell. As she's singing, the arm is going up and down based on the volume of the sound. So eventually, that's not going up as high as I'd like it. There's a lot more tweaks to it I have to make, but it's a step. In the right direction. And you'll see as soon as, uh, as soon as the uh, sound goes off, the left one stops. The next step is getting her to hear the beat. Not very. Energetic, but it's a start. 